Cool, first win as Harlequins head of rugby, it must feel pretty good. No, it's great, you know, it's uh, pre-season one of these things that you do to prepare for the game and uh, today was the game and it's great to see some of our attacks, some of our defence, some of our set piece put under real pressure. Uh, uh, a new side, effectively, with a few little combina new little combinations around in centres and front row. What, what have you learned from that? Have you, have you seen some things that maybe you didn't know before? Well, look, I think the one thing is to, to, to remember that we've got three pre-season games, so everyone will get a run out during pre-season. Today was a, a more inexperienced team, a younger team. There's like a smattering of experience through the spine of the team. Mm. But, you know, the next two, three weeks, we're going to integrate our internationals back into our, our pre-season programme as well. So for their the last two weeks of training, they've been doing heavily conditioned and uh, now they'll come back into rugby. So the, the team will start evolving as we progress. But um, I want to see some of these young kids play. Uh, the, the, they've trained really well, they've applied themselves well. Uh, I've been impressed by quite a few of them and it was great to see them put out there and, and give a lot of effort. Especially a few of them, guys like Henry Cheeseman, Archie White really stepping up to the plate tonight. You must be really pleased even whether with their development in such a short space of time since you've arrived. Yeah, look, you know, I, I, th I think the way that we train, you know, there's two guys obviously that you've uh, name checked, uh, but there's a few, there's a few more there. You know, I, I've been really impressed with Luke Wallace over pre-season. I think he's been one of our standout trainers. Uh, Lewis Boyce has been improving steadily. Um, you know, so it's really great to see these guys actually come out here and play and perform and uh, and represent the club. So it's um, it's a step in the right direction, but it's just a small step. So we you know we regather on Monday and uh, go again on uh, on on Saturday against Glasgow. Charlie Mark Rowan led, led the side tonight for, for the first time. How did you think about his, how did you rate his leadership skills when he was on there? Obviously, having been out on the side for a while with injury, obviously, it's great for him to get back out on the pitch tonight. Yeah, look, you know, we're, we're lucky to have obviously some, some talented scrum halves at the club. Uh, obviously, guys like Danny wasn't here today, Niall Saunders wasn't here today. So, we had the other three nines with us. And, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate that we've got Charlie and we've got Dave as two senior, two senior nines, and obviously uh, Callum Waters, who excelled in the sevens, uh, with us here today as well. But uh, Charlie's very competitive. Um, he's northern, so he's got a voice that carries quite well. Sometimes sounds quite harsh, and that's, uh, that's an unfortunate thing that we carry, it's a burden. Um, but, you know, I've been really impressed with the way that Charlie. Applies himself in training. He's uh, he's a hundred percenter. Uh, he tries. He gives effort. He's got the right kind of attitude that I want to see. Obviously, you've had a couple of months now of some really intense training. You can hear from the players of how hard it's been. But it must also be a relief now to to let almost the rugby do the talking. Because obviously, the work you do behind behind closed doors, this is where you get to see the kind of fruits of that work. It is, but you know, it's, it's still just one step. This isn't our season. You know, we start on September the first, and our season doesn't end on September the first either. By the way, our season ends in May uh, or June. And um, you know, it's, it's important to remember that we're still training the boys. We're still training in the intensity to improve and get better and better, so that when we play sale, we start hitting the levels that we want to want to want to achieve. Obviously, up to Scotland next week, Glasgow Warriors are another tough opposition. How? What, what lessons, suppose, have you learned from this week that you can carry through to next week against, against that side? Look, we're always learning. We had a, a good debrief there with the rest of the coaches. Um, a good good kind of debrief for the players. Um, you know, I, I want this team to work unbelievably hard, and uh, we've got talent. If we apply that kind of effort, if we apply that kind of attitude, uh, that desire, that uh, that mentality, that mindset, uh, that we'll um, we'll fight for everything. You know, we'll play tough. We'll, we'll we'll dig it out. Then we've got talent. Then we've got people that can create things from nothing. And then then we'll be okay.